Another Indian defense deal is brewing in China's backyard. According to latest reports, the Philippines has shown interest in India's ALH Dhruv helicopter. India and Philippines might finalize another defense deal after the BrahMos missiles against their common foe, China. So why is Philippines eyeing India's attack helicopter? India has dispatched three naval warships of its eastern fleet as part of a defense attache to Manila, consisting of guided missile destroyer INS Delhi, fleet tanker INS Shakti, and anti-submarine warfare corvette INS Kiltan. This indeed sent a loud and clear message to the aggressor in the South China Sea. In a move signaling a milestone in India-Philippines defense ties, a high-level delegation from the Philippines embarked on a unique mission on the 21st of May. The Filipino delegation included officials from the Philippine Navy, the Philippine Coast Guard, and the Department of National Defense, who visited INS Shakti, Indian warship docked in the Manila port. But why? To take a first-hand look, assess and explore the capabilities of India's indigenously developed ALH Dhruv helicopter. This likely included briefings on helicopter specifications, operational functionalities, and potential applications within the Philippine military and Coast Guard. The Philippines is now expected to evaluate Dhruv's performance data. The visit has sparked a debate over the Southeast Asian country's potential acquisition of the Indian naval helicopters. But the foundation for defense deal for naval choppers between New Delhi and Manila was laid months ago. India-Philippines defense ties found a new gear when in November last year, India proposed seven ALH Mark III helicopters to Manila. The proposal was made to enhance Philippines' Coast Guard capabilities in the face of increasing threat from a belligerent China. The proposed agreement aims to strengthen the Philippines' maritime security capabilities. This report comes just after the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between Coast Guards of the two Asian sovereign states in August last year. The MOU strengthens the two nations' military relations by allowing them to share information especially concerning maritime cooperation. Let's keep in mind that if India can crack the potential defence deal, it will be a win-win situation for the nations. This is a two-pronged situation due to the formation of a united front against Beijing. At the same time, it will offer a major push to India's defence exports and self-reliance in defence manufacturing. The ALH Mark III, a variant of the indigenous Dhruv helicopter, has been a powerful asset for Indian Navy and the Coast Guard. Let's first understand some of the features of the ALH Dhruv helicopters and how they could potentially enhance the combat capabilities of the Philippines. Indigenously designed and developed by the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, India's defense behemoth, the advanced light helicopter has a multi-mission dimension to it. The utility aircraft consists of twin-engine design. It also falls within the 5.5-ton category of helicopters. It is equipped with state-of-the-art surveillance radar and can detect and identify ships and boats within a range of up to 120 nautical miles. The ALH MK3 features an array of modern equipment, state-of-the-art navigation and communication systems, and an advanced vibration control network. It is versatile as it is suitable for constabulary missions as well. The major change in ALH Mark III variant of Dhruv is that it is powered by a Shakti engine. The revamped engine has been developed under a joint venture between HAL and French engine maker Safran. With a glass cockpit, it has advanced maritime patrol radar, an electro-optical payload and night vision capabilities. If acquired, the Philippines would be the first buyer of ALH Mark III helicopters, just like the Brahmos. Another advantage the Dhruv helicopter carries with it is it's particularly used for maritime reconnaissance and surveillance activities. This means India's motivation behind the proposal and possible delivery of these helicopters to the Philippines is strategic. It will help the two maritime forces in gathering intelligence in the turbulent region of the South China Sea. So how many Dhruv helicopters does the Indian military operate? By October 2022, the state-run aerospace major Hindustan Aeronautics Limited had produced 336 Dhruv helicopters. Additionally, the Indian Defence Ministry signed a contract with the HAL on the 13th of March this year for acquiring 25 new ALH Dhruv helicopters for the Indian Army. The Indian aerospace giant produced their first Dhruv chopper in 2001. They are in service with the Indian Navy, the IAF, the Army and the Coast Guard. The Indian Dhruv ALH Mark III is different from the Apache AH-64E, recognized as the world's most advanced combat helicopter, which is also operational with the Indian Air Force, along with the Indian Army. Featuring an advanced night vision system and the capability to arm missiles that can strike 138 targets in a minute. So are there other countries interested in HAL's ALH Dhruv apart from the Philippines? India positions itself as a more economical alternative to Western defence manufacturers. Remember, a small number of countries like the Maldives, Mauritius and Nepal are already operating the Indian Dhruv helicopters, 
most of which have been donated by India. Previously, Argentina had shown interest in Ares Dhruv helicopters, especially the Mark IV variant, also known as Rudra, meant for carrying out high-altitude operations. Since 30% of the country lies in the Andes mountain ranges, it is considering procurement of nearly 50 ALH helicopters from India. In September 2023, the Argentine Army had visited Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Bangalore, and flew both the ALH Mark III and Mark IV versions. Indian Air Force C-17 Blue Master III airlifter transported Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopters to the government of Mauritius on the February of 9th this year, which it will use for policing duties. This is not the first time India's indigenous defence equipment has gained traction from the Philippines Air Force. Just a month ago, India completed its largest defence exports deal by delivering the BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles to the Philippines as part of the $375 million deal. As BrahMos has a proven track record, India is expecting to bag more orders for the supersonic missiles in the near future, especially from fellow Southeast Asian nations. China's assertive military posturing in the Indian Ocean region has compelled India to counter Beijing's activities by increasing its naval footprint in the South China Sea. A deepening of ties with the Southeast Asian countries has bolstered India's aspirations for a more assertive security role in this region. Positioning India as a reliable security partner and a significant arms exporter amid escalating tensions from China. Have your say. How else can India increase its defence partnerships in the South China Sea region? Leave a comment below, hit the like button and remember to subscribe to InConnect News.